Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, apps for college instructors. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin. My name is Ashley Roki. And this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge. And today we're going to be talking about apps for college instructors. And since I am one, I'm going to do a lot of the talking. So, apologies in advance. And what the first one that I want to talk today uh, about is an app that I use early in my classes. And I use the camera a lot. Uh, I take pictures of all of the students with their names so I can remember who they are, can quickly and memorize all of the names. This works at the college level. This works also at the uh, elementary or secondary level. And I'll show you what it looks like on my collection of photos. So I'll go to my collection of photos. And actually, for collection of photos, I've just switched from Apple to the Google Photos app. Google Photos app is fantastic. It manages really well on the iPad, also on the computer. And um, it allows you unlimited storage, which is fantastic, because I take a lot of pictures. A lot of them are unnecessary, but I still take them. And I will show you what it looks like when I take pictures of my students. You can see that there are a lot of photos out there. Uh, you can see that I have students, and I can actually uh, select, or I can go to, mm, I can go and look at specific student. And what I actually do is I just roll through it. I have the names, and I just cover the name and try to remember who it is. And I have that from multiple classes, so I have that accumulation of students I've had. Very simple, very straightforward. I don't need anybody else to actually make a student do it in class. I don't do it mm -hmm. myself. I send somebody around in the iPad and say, take, care, take a picture of everybody with their name tag. And now I have a collection. I can put it in an album. If I don't want it in the future, I just erase it from uh, my iPad and from uh, the Google Photos, and it's gone and I'm perfectly fine. So that's one way to, to use that very, very simply. The other thing that I do with the camera is I can walk around, I can take pictures mm -hmm. or just project that directly when I have an Apple TV. So I can show somebody's work or a group's work and that's a great way. Another way is if students create a poster or some kind of artifact in class, I can take a picture yeah. and I have evidence of it and I don't need to take them all back mm -hmm. with me because they're right there on my uh, device, so that's a way to use photos. Next app I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about Kindle. And the reason I love Kindle is you can get lots of books, and you can buy them and get them into your Kindle, but you can also get them from Overdrive, which is a way to connect to libraries, and then it can download into your Kindle, and you have access to all of your books anywhere you go. Love that as a way. As an instructor, my favorite book app is CourseSmart because the book reps from different uh, companies can give me access to those textbooks on the app. That means I'm not getting a paper copy and my office is not filling up with books I'm never going to use or that I want to use a one time or even that I use regularly. I have access to it. It goes with me everywhere. And uh, the beauty of CourseSmart is that your students can get the same kind of books in a digital edition or the paper edition. And you can say if you have something that you prefer, but you can do anything. And you can open uh, the book, you can download it, and you can see that this is just a sample. And you can immediately go to a specific area. You can do a search. You can look at the text and it looks like the book which is really nice. I can also rotate it and uh, make, make the dimensions more like a classic book. So it looks like a full page and I don't have to scroll around. That's nice. As long as you can see something that small, you can make it bigger. So that's one advantage over the book. It's actually more accessible if you have some problems with, a, with vision. And you can, and that's a, one of the things you can do, is you can make notes up on any page and just write a small note and you can then share those notes or send them to somebody else or just save them and you can write and draw or make squares to highlight something. So you can do all of the functions you can do with a regular book and again the advantage for me as an instructor is I can get uh, lots of books to try out, decide which ones I like, and then I can get rid of the rest. They don't have to live on my iPad, but if I'm teaching something at that moment, it's a great way for me to update. They read chapter three for today. I need a quick review of what is actually in chapter three. 
I just open it, look through, and that's it. So, and again, what you have, and you can see, you can go and look at table of contents, you can look at the notes you've made in the past and all of that. So there's uh, lots of these and you have access to a shelf and that shelf, my full shelf actually has about 20 to 30 books that I use on a regular basis. Again, a way to access them. So this is a core smart. The next app that I use a lot, and we talked about it just recently when we, when we created an episode for students, and that is using Google Docs. So for you as a student, what are the advantages for Google Docs? Um, Google Docs allows you to share quickly and with multiple people and work collaboratively with mm -hmm. another classmate on a project and um, get quick feedback and give quick feedback. So the great thing for me as an instructor about docs is I can say to each student at the beginning of a class, even if I have a learning management system that is already working and doing a nice job, I love that ability to interact mm -hmm. on Google Drive and through Google Docs and make comments for students on their papers and that peer interaction and the ability to chat in real time. So what I ask everybody to do nowadays is make a folder and share the folder with me as an instructor, mm -hmm. give it a name that I can actually use. So I know you're taking a class and for you it's, it's a class, I don't know, 311, which is a class you took with me. And, but for me as an instructor, that isn't really helpful because that name tells me nothing because I taught this class many times, I will teach it again. So something with a better identifier always helps. And then any document you drop in there, mm -hmm. I will be able to see. And that's the beauty of having folders and not just individual uh, documents. So it's a way to save everything. I don't have to walk around with papers. I can very easily share those papers, give comments, and people can see them in real mm -hmm. time. Uh, the one caveat about this, about making comments on papers, is that is if it takes you a few days to make comments, on papers, some students will get them before others. So that's yep. not necessarily problematic, but you have to tell everybody, this is how it's gonna happen mm -hmm. because this is in real time. And there's always a paper I check first, and there's always one that I check last, and there's no way around it. And so you've gotta find a way to explain that, to share that, and for everybody to be okay. So this is, a, this is Google Docs and working out of a Google Drive. The last one I wanna talk about briefly is Blackboard. And Blackboard is our learning management system and you can get access to your class and it's a great way to do certain things. Now, Blackboard works really, really well on certain features for mm -hmm. an instructor on the iPad. Grading is not one of them. Grading is actually a little problematic and I prefer to do it on a computer. Mm -hmm. You can do it on the iPad, but it still, it still needs some work. But the things that do work really, really well are discussion boards, and the access to discussion board is exceptional. Let's uh, quickly have an example here. Okay, this is a class I'm currently teaching. And if you look at my discussion board, I can go into, this is, this is organized by weeks, I go to a specific discussion and I can easily read and then it opens the whole thing and I can respond right there. Very pleasant to read, very, very clear and uh, that interface works really, really well. So unlike the grading which, which tries to go back to the website and that's problematic, this is here. And the other things, of course, that you can do very easily is announcements. Mm -hmm. Send announcements for everybody using the email and uh, looking at the things you've already put out there. Again, the basic design of the class and grading, I'd rather do on a computer. Mm -hmm. So this is not there all the way, but definitely it's getting closer. So today we talked about, well, I talked mostly. <laughs> we talked about a apps for college instructors. So if you are a college instructor, these are great apps to start with and some ideas about how you might want to use them. But there's lots of other ones that could be applicable depending on what you teach. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.